Hi everyone, it's Travis with ProNav Marine, and today I'm excited to introduce a new product from ProNav, our trolling motor wiring kit for 12, 24, and 36 volt trolling motor systems. Whether you're rigging your boat for a new trolling motor or rewiring the one you've got, this kit's going to provide everything you need to make a really nice connection between that trolling motor and your batteries. All right, next let's get this kit unpackaged and begin the installation. To complete this installation, you're just going to need a few basic tools, starting with a pair of wire cutters, wire strippers, a Phillips screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver. In addition to that, we'll need an electric hand drill, a 1 8 inch drill bit, and a 1 inch hole saw. The first part of the installation I'm going to do is attach the quick disconnect plug to the trolling motor. To begin, I'm going to take the red and black wires coming out of my trolling motor and I'm going to route those to where I intend to install the socket part of this quick disconnect plug. What I want to do is I want to make sure I have enough cable length to easily reach that socket location that I've chosen on the front of my boat or the deck. So what I've done is I've cut these wires to length and I've gone ahead and used a stripper tool to basically expose about a quarter inch of the tin copper ends for each wire. I'm going to take the plug that's provided in the kit and I'm going to insert the ends, the red and black wires, into the terminals here. We've got a brass terminal and a, a silver colored terminal. Uh, if you look in the plastic, you'll see a plus sign and a minus sign indicating the polarity here. So the brass terminal will be for our red wire and the silver terminal here will be for our negative wire. All right, so we're going to line these up here and take that red wire. And I like to twist that end just to make sure that's as compact and tight as I can get it. And that we don't have any loose strands of wire sticking out on one side. I'm going to align these wires from the end of the plug that has the indentation here. Bringing that up and through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that wire all the way through here. And you can see it's actually coming just a bit out on the other side. Okay, next I'm going to take a small flat screwdriver here. And I'm going to take the set screws that were included with this plug kit. And we're just going to tighten that one down until that wire is secure in the brass block. Now we don't need to over tighten these, but I do want to get a good compression on that copper, copper wire in there. So there we are, we're hand tight. I'm not over tightening it. As we can see that wire is snug in there and can't, uh, it can't easily be moved whatsoever. Okay, next we're going to do the same thing with the black side. I'm going to push that end through until we can see it starting to pop out on the other side of that block. Now we're going to crank that set screw down. Alright, so we've got the plug connected here to the trolling motor wires coming out of the base of the trolling motor. It's our red and black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back side of that plug and what that's going to do is that's going to sit right over top of these wires line things up here and I'm going to take the three Phillips head screws here that were provided with the kit and we're going to use those to basically assemble this plug Again, be careful not to over tighten these screws. We're going into plastic here, so I'm just going to get those nice and hand tight. All right, and as you can see, we've got this nice plug here on the end of our trolling motor wires. Next, we're going to install the socket or receptacle for the other end of this. Here is the socket end for our quick disconnect electrical plug. The back side of this is very similar to what we just saw on the uh, plug side of this. So we've got a brass block and a, a silver colored block here. The brass is going to be our positive wire. The silver block here, that's going to be for our negative wire. I've got the set screws set into each one here, but not screwed in tight. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this socket position where we want it on the front of the boat so that we can easily plug the trolling motor into this socket 
And when we want to remove the trolley motor, we can easily unplug the trolley motor from the socket. So I've gone ahead and pre-drilled a one inch diameter hole using either a wood bit similar to this or a hole saw for going into uh, aluminum or metal surfaces. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to position and basically flush mount this on the front deck. The screws provided in this kit are size 10 and the pilot hole for those is going to be roughly a 1 8 inch drill bit. So we've got our 1 8 inch drill here and what we're going to do is we're going to use this piece as our template. We're going to center the socket in the one inch hole that we just drilled and then we're going to mark the left and right screw hole and we're going to go ahead and drill those pilot holes. Once we've got that pilot hole drilled, we're going to set this socket aside. Here I've got the main leads that are going to run from the trolling motor all the way back to our batteries. I'll uncoil these and what we're going to see is that on one end we've got these sealed ring terminals. These are going to fit over uh, any standard 12 volt battery lugs. And the other end is going to go directly into the back of this socket. So what we're going to do is we're going to route these cables in the boat starting with the ring terminal ends at the battery and we're going to bring these ends all the way up to the back side of our socket and I'm going to run these up from behind and I'm going to pull them through that one inch hole that we drilled. When we're routing these wires it's always best practice to give yourselves a little bit of extra length to work with. So when I get to this point, I don't want these wires to be completely tight uh, pulling against the battery. I want to have a cable routing that's going to have no tight bends or corners where these are rubbing or kinked and uh, that gives me a little bit of slack to work with when I get to this point. I've gone ahead and I've stripped back a quarter inch of the red and black sheath from each wire to expose the tinned ends. Again, I'm going to twist these. The next thing I'm going to do is back out the set screws on the back side of our socket and I'm going to take our red wire and push that into the brass nut and then I'm going to take this black wire and I'm going to go into that silver nut and I'm going to crank each of these down uh, nice and secure. Again, I want to go hand tight. I want to get these good and tight but don't over crank them. We don't want to strip that screw out. So now we've got our socket with the black and red wires. I'm going to pull these wires back down in here, blow deck. And we're going to take this socket and get that set flush against the pilot holes that we drilled. We're going to use the Phillips. And I'm going to come through and get each of these screws tightened down by hand all the way. All right, we've got our plug on the trolling motor and we've got our socket in place here. I'm gonna do a quick test fit. When we're done at the end of the day or when we're taking the trolling motor off the boat, we just simply unplug here and away we go. In the last step, we're gonna take the battery end of the wires and we're going to install our resettable fuse in a location where it's easy to access and close to the batteries. We're going to connect up all the wires and then we'll do a test and we'll be ready to hit the water. All right, right here we've got a 12 volt system so we have a single battery. I'm going to take our resettable fuse and look for a good position for that. What I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to install that fuse right on top of this battery box so it's really easy to get at. And next I'm going to use the block as a template to drill two pilot holes for the hardware. I'm going to take our two screws and I'm going to screw the block down. If I'm installing this inside of a different style of compartment or where the batteries may be sitting in trays and I've got a wall surface, a flat wall surface, either aluminum or plywood, I can attach that fuse block directly to the adjacent mounting surface. Next, we're going to take our red jumper. We're going to attach that to the fuse on the side that says battery, BAT. And we'll reinstall the nut. 
Next, I'm gonna take the red lead coming from the socket up in the front of the boat, and I'm gonna attach that to the other side of the fuse that says AUX. Okay, we're gonna take and attach the red jumper to the positive block on our battery. And finally, we're gonna bring the black cable coming from the front of the boat, the back side of the socket, to the negative block on our battery. I'm gonna reinstall the cover here. And that is it. Now we've made all of our connections to the battery. We've got our resettable fuse in line with the red cable. We're ready to plug in the motor and test things out. Wow, was that easy. In just a matter of minutes, we've got this boat wired and ready to fish. Last thing we have to do is plug in the motor and test for power. Awesome, we've got our four bars and we're ready to fish. Thank you for watching this video and we hope that the ProNap Trolling Motor Wiring Kit is just the easy button you're looking for to get this motor rigged so you can get out fishing. If you've got any questions on wiring or installing a trolling motor on your boat, please drop us a line to sales at pronamarine.com. We're happy to help and look forward to hearing from you. Have a great season.